We will create a subtitle effect today. I had a barber once who used to comb my hair gently. Okay, so when you're selling to this woman, just imagine she's that nice, reasonable barber. Okay, mm. I can do that. Good, baby steps. <laughs> he used to fight dogs. Like, he used to make dogs fight, or he actually fought dogs? Little of this, little of that. There are several ways to do it. My two main ways to make this are. Number one using the slider control to reveal words. Number two using the layer markers to reveal words. We will use number one. Number two is efficient, but downsides are that it's complicated due to expression codes. Sometimes you have to tweak the code for some cases which I believe no one wants to do if the task has to be quick. Also it has long render time, because expression codes make the project heavy due to continuous calculations they are making. Number 1 is not efficient but fast and mostly handy also renders fast. At the end, whatever method you choose the result will be the same, just workflow will be different. Alright, I have this video on my timeline. Since my video clip is vertical, it is hard to work in the current layout of the software. So let's quickly set our window to edit comfortably in a vertical orientation. Undock the composition display panel. The display will come out. Simply drag this panel to the right side of the software. Drop it when you see a tall green highlight area. Now we can comfortably work in vertical mode. Play the video clip to hear the script. I had a barber once who used to comb my hair gently. Choose the text tool. Type out the line. I will quickly place some color shapes temporarily at the top to pick the colors for text. These type of subtitle edits use mainly three colors. One of them is white and other two of your choice. Now highlight the word you want to color. Using the text color picking tool, I will pick the red color. This is just to emphasize some words. Open the text layer. Add an opacity animator. This is what it looks like. I will put a slider control effect on this text layer. Rename the effect to word reveal. Under advanced menu, set based on value to words. So it reveals in a word by word manner. Now turn the opacity down to 0%. We will animate it using the start property. Alt click the stopwatch. Attach the smell icon to the slider effect like this. Now the text should fade as I change the slider value. Add a keyframe with a zero value. Hit U to reveal the keyframe of the layer. Now listen to the audio and add a keyframe until the first word appears. I had a barber once. Go forward where the word sinks and change the value to add a keyframe. It looks fine fading in like this, but we want the text to appear very sharp with the audio. I will go in the middle of these two keyframes. Add a keyframe by clicking the diamond button. Push it closer. Keyframes are acting as words. Go forward and add another keyframe. I'll add one more. Push them closer, so the words appear more sharp. I had a barber once. I had a bar. I had a barber once. Now if I want to hold a word, I will simply copy the keyframe of that word and paste it to the time I want to hold it. I had a barber once. I had a barber once. I had a barber once. The words now appear more sharp and synced. Let's trim the layer. 
Duplicate this layer. Move it forward. Then override the new line. Now I will delete all the keyframes in between, except the first and last. Highlight a word from the text, change the color of this, I will pick a red color, do the same for another word. I will stretch the letter where the scene changes and sentence ends. Duplicate the layer and place as the new line start. Okay, so when you're selling to the highlight some words from this sentence and choose an orange color this time. Add keyframes to hold words. Okay. Okay. So when you're selling, so when you're. This may look like a pain to do because I'm doing it slowly due to the tutorial. Once you get to do it, that will be fast and more easier. You can also use hold keyframes, that is way faster, but the words appear very abruptly. That's why we are using these normal keyframes. I will do the same for the rest. It's basically duplicating and rewriting. So once you have written all the subtitles, select all the text layers, pre-compose. Let's turn off the color shapes as we don't need them anymore. Put a drop shadow effect on the subtitle layer. Then put a glow effect and copy my settings. Put another glow effect. This is to add a bloom around the text. Now put a wave warp effect to add waving. Increase wave width value. Now we will make a video filter that we usually see on these type of edits. Create an adjustment layer. Put it below the subtitles layer. Drop an unsharp mask effect and copy my settings. Now put a curves effect. Make something like this. Open opacity of filter layer. Set it to about 20%. So the effect is not too intense. This is before and after the filter. You can increase the opacity for more intense look. That's pretty much it. Be sure to subscribe if it helped. Thank you. I had a barber once who used to comb my hair gently. Okay, so when you're selling to this woman, just imagine she's that nice, reasonable barber. Okay, mm. I can do that. Good, baby steps. <laughs> he used to fight dogs. Like, he used to make dogs fight, or he actually fought dogs? Little of this, little of that. <laughs>